हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू सोल्यूशन ऑफ असाइनमेंट नंबर टू ऑन द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ पावर सिस्टम दिस इज बेस्ड ऑन द बेस्ड ऑन द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ एनर्जी बिल्स सो हियर इज द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम द मंथली रीडिंग्स ऑफ अ कंज्यूमर meter is given the maximum demand is 60 kw energy consumed is 2400 kwh and reactive energy keep in mind this is not reactive power it is a reactive energy 15600 kvr if the tariff is 20 rupees 20 per kw of the maximum demand plus 3 paise per unit and 0.1 paise per unit for each 1% power factor below 85% calculate the monthly bill so this is the power factor type uh, tariff tariff so uh, first it is necessary to calculate the power factor so we will calculate the average active load to calculate the average active load this is the monthly reading so we have energy consumption in monthly so active energy consumed in one month divided by number of hours in a month so 24000 kwh divided by 24 hours in a day into 30 days per month so 24 into 30 so it comes to 33.33 kw similarly average reactive load is given by reactive energy consumed in one month divided by number of hours in one month so 15600 divided by 24 into 30 it gives you 21.67 kvr so how we will calculate the power factor angle so power factor angle is equal to always tan inverse of q by p from the power triangle we can derive so uh, tan phi is equal to q by p hence phi is equal to tan inverse of 21.65 divided by 33.33 so angle gives you 33.03 degree so if we calculate the power factor that is a cos phi of this angle it comes to 0.8384 lag so we will calculate now the bill so maximum demand charges so what is given rupees 20 per kw and what is the maximum demand 60 kw so 60 kw into rupees 20 it gives you rupees uh, 1200 energy charges 3 paisa per unit so 20 energy is 2400 kwh 2400 kwh into 3 paisa means rupees 0.03 it gives you rupees 720 720 and what is the power factor charge given 0.1 paise so 0.1 paise means rupees 0.01 for each of 1% power factor below 85% so what is the power factor now 0.8384 and what is the limit given 85 so how much decrease in the power factor 0.85 minus 0.8384 so it is multiplied by rupees 0.01 and 0.1 paise per unit so that it is multiplied by 2400 kwh so it comes to 0.02784 so if we add this it will give you rupees 1920 rupees 0.27 paise so this is the calculation of monthly bill based on power factor tariff let's see the second problem Um, an industrial load can be supplied from the two alternative so uh, in industry we have two alternative one is hv supply one is lv supply for hv supply the rate is rupees 65 per kw per annum plus 3 paisa per kwh and for lv supply it is rupees 65 per kw but and but energy rate is 3.3 paise per kwh the high voltage equipments but but we have to uh, give the cost for high voltage equipment so high voltage equipment cost is rupees 50 per kw and losses can be taken as a 3% so losses in the high voltage supply can be taken as a 3% interest and depreciation charges are 15% so whatever we are uh, we are connecting the high voltage equipment so interest and depreciation on that it is a 15% if there are 40 working days in a year so 40 working weeks sorry if there are 40 working weeks find the number of our weeks above which high voltage supply is cheaper so we have to find out Uh, about how many weeks this supply will be cheaper so let us consider that there is x 
load uh, let load is not given so we'll assume the value of load is x x load in kw load which is at the industry and y is the number of working hours per week above which hv supply is cheaper so what is we have to calculate find the working hours per week so i am assuming that value is equal to y so hv supply so considering the hv supply what is the input power to the hp supply so we have output power divided by efficiency we have to take because the losses is 3% so efficiency is uh, losses is 3% means efficiency is your po uh, 0.97 so output power divided by efficiency that is x upon 0.97 it gives you 1.0309 xkw this is the input power so how we will calculate annual fixed charges if this is the input power annual fixed charges is equal to whatever the input power multiplied by fixed rate that is rupees 65 per kw so rupees 65 per kw that will give you rupees 67.001 x so annual capital cost of HV equipment. So HV equipment annual capital cost is rupees 50 per kW. So hence I am multiplying. Uh, uh, what is the input power? This is the input power multiplied by rupees 50. So it gives you rupees 51.54 into X. So what is the interest and depreciation on this? Interest and depreciation on this is 0.15 into capital cost. So 0.15 into capital cost will give you uh, the rupees 7.5. 73175x so what is the total annual charges annual energy charge this is interest and depreciation now we'll this is this is related to fixed cost now we'll calculate the variable cost so annual energy charges is annual energy into charges so what is the power power this is the power and y is the number of working hours per week so y is the number of working hours per week and likewise there are 40 working weeks so in a year 40 working hours with y years y hours per week so this will give you the total energy consumption in kwh multiplied by the rate is 0 0.03 that is a 3 paisa per kwh it will give you 1.23708 xy so what is the total charges annual fixed charges that is this is annual fixed charges plus interest and depreciation charges plus annual energy charges so this is the cost of high voltage equipment so annual charges is substituted here interest and depreciation is substituted and, and energy charges are substituted here so this is the cost curve of the hv supply similarly for lv supply input power is x so annual fixed charges is equal to x into rupees 65 see there is no efficiency given for the low voltage it is only given for high voltage so don't bother about deficiency in the low voltage side so x into rupees uh, 65 so it gives you 65 x and annual energy charges is equal to annual energy into charge so x is the annual energy x is the annual energy multiplied by y into 40 number of hours in a week into number of weeks and charges what is the charges given the charges are given as 3.3 paisa that is 0 0.03 0 0.033 is the charge so it gives you 1.32 xy so total annual charges is annual fixed charge plus annual charge here there is no interest and depreciation charge like which is given in the hv supply for lv it is not there because in hv side this is the cost related to the capital but here no capital investment so it gives the total charges 65 x plus 1.32 x both cost will be equal if if industry runs for y hours per week hence equating these two charges to calculate the y so this and this equation is equated and if i calculate this this will give that after one one say if you if you work 117.48 hours per week then hv supply will be cheaper if you if a number of working hours in a week is greater than this 117.48 hours per week then the hv supply will be cheaper than the lv supply if your working hour is below this then lv supply is cheaper let's have a next example a factory has a maximum demand of 50 kW load factor is 60 percent during working hour and there are following two types of tariff rupees 8 per kW of maximum demand plus 3 paisa per kWh and a flat rate with point rupees 0.1 uh, per kWh determine the working hours per week above which the first tariff is cheaper let x be the working hour per week 
so number of units consumed how will calculate number of units consumed we have we know the maximum demand we know the load factor so maximum demand into working hours into load factor so as load factor is equal to number of unit consumed divided by maximum demand into working hour so from that formula we can easily calculate number of units consumed as a maximum demand into working hours into load factor so 500 is the maximum demand into x is the number of working hours into load factor is 0.6 so it gives you 300 x kwh so weekly energy bill according to the first so rupees 8 what is the maximum demand 500 so 8 into 500 kw this will give you 4000 plus what is the energy charges 3 3 paisa per kwh so rupees 0.03 and number of units consumed that is the uh, kwh so 300x so 0.03 into 300x kwh so this will give me the cost curve according to the first type of tariff and according to the second type of tariff it is rupees 0.1 per kwh so rupees 0.1 into total kwh are 300x so this gives you 30x when both are e equating these two tariff we will get the value of x above which the uh, uh, tariff one is more economical so 4000 plus 9x is equal to 30x so x is equal to 190 hours per week if we work uh, if we we are doing the work in industry greater than this number of hours then the first tariff is cheaper than the second tariff and below this the second tariff is cheaper so likewise you can do the calculations thank you